Hey, you guys, hello there. So uh, my little friend uh, joining me that we can almost see. Hey, look, see there? Ooh. My little friend can only mean one thing, that there is only one major movie opening today after multiple COVID delays. The Batman is finally here. Bruce Wayne. I have loved Batman ever since I picked up my first DC comic book. The campy TV series was a guilty pleasure. And then the movie versions came along. Some were masterpieces, some complete wastes of time. The latest incarnation, The Batman, starring Twilight star Robert Pattinson, comes closer to the best of the bunch than we've seen in a long time. Yet, it's very different. The tradition of the franchise is completely respected by director Matt Reeves, respect but revitalized and reinvented. It's now grittier with a darker edge, almost operatic with its vigilante crime fighting, street thugs, organized crime, corrupt politicians, and these mysterious masked maniacs now working in today's cyber dangerous world. And this goth Batman, Bruce Wayne, is a much more damaged soul than we've seen before, uncertain of who he is, as Robert Pattinson himself explained to me. He is very very much not uh, the kind of society playboy he's he's usually portrayed as and uh, and I think it kind of in taking that section out of it, it allowed you to play a, a much more damaged person somebody who's kind of you know very much tormented by his past and he hasn't gotten over it at all just like the man, the look of the movie is also brooding and melodramatic. Gotham City is gray and cold, feeling like New York, though many of its exteriors were shot in London and at iconic places in downtown Chicago before and during the pandemic. Aging Gothic settings just waiting for the roar of a bat cycle or Batmobile to hunt down the bad guys. Rounding out the Batman is a more than impressive ensemble. Zoe Kravitz as the sexy revenge-filled Catwoman Paul Dano, an ultra-maniacal Riddler. Colin Farrell, unrecognizable as the Penguin. Beautifully filmed, adding so much twisted dimension to the canvas. A well-done effort, all except its three-hour length. I wasn't fidgeting in my chair, but I was regretting that large-sized drink I bought before I sat down. It's a Dean's List A- minus in theaters only. Now, because of the long three-hour length, you may want to wait till it's streaming, which uh, we're hearing will be on HBO Max on April the 19th. But uh, it's worth seeing on a big screen, that's for sure. You can always get my weekly movie reviews sent right to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago's Tosca, March 12th through April 10th. You can get tickets at lyricopera.org. And 